Writing a character that the audience finds compelling often comes down to seeing how their character grows and changes, or tries and fails to change, over the course of a story. This is the character arc. If you're playing D&D or writing a novel, ensuring that the characters in your story are traveling internally as well as externally will be key in making them compelling. Hey everyone, I've been gone for a bit and I've grown facial hair as a visual cue to show you that time has passed. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you like the video. Uploads will be more consistent shortly and I'll be launching a game show on the channel soon. Stay here after the video for more news on that. Let's take a look at everyone on the internet's favorite character arc, Prince Zuko. Zuko starts as a classic villain, searching for the Avatar to regain his lost honor. Right away, this begs several questions that deepen both his character and the world. Why did the crown prince of the bad guy nation lose his honor? And what sort of action would bad guys find dishonorable? And banishing the crown prince? What's going on there? The answers to all of these initial questions are the catalyst for his character arc. The very things that brought him to villainy are the things that make him a hero when he comes to terms with them. But I'm not just bringing him up for a simple villain to hero arc. Zuko is compelling because he goes through what I'd call a tragedy arc. At the midpoint of the story, Zuko has the opportunity to join the good guys and chooses not to. This is the perfect exemplar for what makes a good tragedy. You show someone getting close to changing for the better before ripping it away from them. Sometimes the character is just killed before completing their arc, but I love it when the character doesn't quite make the jump, turning away before completing their arc and taking the final step. It hurts so much more when you imagine what might have been. Of course, Zuko eventually does complete his heroic arc, joining the good side and facing his past. That's also very satisfying, but the fact that the tragic arc preceded it meant he had to do a lot more work to climb back up, which makes for a fantastic redemption arc. Hello, Zuko here. So how do you write that? Let's draw a story circle with five key points. Each of these is a checkpoint on the road to a completed arc, and each point needs a visible moment in your story. This means a scene or set of scenes dedicated to each point. Let's start at the top. Belief established. We see the character acting in a way that establishes their worldview. For Zuko, he believes that the only way to regain his honor is to follow the rules of the nation that banished him. Next, we move on to belief challenged. We see the character's belief established earlier challenged in some way. This may get them to begin to question themselves, but they won't be changing course yet. For Zuko, we see Admiral Zhao acting as a foil to his mission. Zuko begins to question whether his mission to capture the Avatar or internal Fire Nation politics is of more importance to his father. At the midpoint, we hit belief shaken. We see the character's faith in what they originally believed truly upset. They see what they've been doing maybe based on incorrect assumptions or flawed ethics. For Zuko, after he's betrayed by Zhao, he travels the Earth Kingdom and begins to see the toll the war has taken on people, as well as just seeing that living a normal life might be worthwhile. Next, belief reinforced. The penultimate point is a point of regression. They've been betrayed by their new morals in some way, shown that the old ways still work. The question presents itself now, do you keep going anyway? or do you turn back? The answer to this question determines whether the arc is heroic or tragic. For Zuko, he sees the Avatar again and has a choice whether to help his sister and regain his honor or help the Avatar and commit to transformation. Finally, belief transformed. The character makes their choice, either committing to change or falling back into their old ways. No matter whether it's the tragedy of failure or the glorious success, the character has completed their arc. Their choices determined who they became, and love them or hate them, it's hard to deny that they were a compelling character. For Zuko, he tragically falls back into his old ways and helps his sister capture the Avatar, betraying those who believed in him and his own belief in himself. It's not the end of his story, but it is the end of this specific arc. When writing or playing characters, make sure that you're hitting each of these five points. Literally have moments dedicated to each of these things. What happens in the scene can be about anything but the character has to travel along these beats if you want to have a compelling character. So is this the only way of thinking about character arcs? No, but it is my way. It's incredibly helpful to use when outlining or giving notes on a character. If they feel flat, it's likely because they aren't arcing. I hope that this has been helpful. 
This is the process I've been using for outlining my stories, and I found it both helpful and freeing. Because I know I can take the story anywhere and it will still work. As long as my characters are hitting their character beats at the right time. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Ben DeHart. Please like, subscribe, and share with your writing or gaming group. And stick around if you want. I'm going to be talking about my new game show, Swing Vote, right after this. See you. Hey, thanks for sticking around. In the next couple weeks, I'm going to be launching a new game show on my channel called Swing Vote. It's a comedy debate game where two players argue about random bullshit, like which Lord of the Rings character would you hand the ox to on a road trip, or which Marvel character would you least want to be your Uber driver. A panel of judges will vote in secret ahead of time, and if the players manage to sway them to their side of the debate, they get double points. We'll be launching soon and likely be streaming it. There will also be a Discord for people to join and vote on debate topics and other fun stuff too. I just wanted to put this show on your radar as I've been working on it over the last few months, and it's partially why there's been a delay in my videos. Hope you check it out and join the community when it launches. Thanks.